42.1 WROI, WROI FM.com, streaming audio live on RTC Channel 5 and soon to be audio and video on RTC Channel 4. Hi, Scott. Good morning, Tom. Scott's in the studio, so we say good morning to him. And of course, if you have a smartphone or an Android, download the TuneIn Radio app. You can take us wherever you happen to be going. Which, of course, today might be to the Moose Lodge, where there's a lot of activity going on. But first of all, I want to say good morning to special guest Kelly Eisenhower in the studio. Hey, Ike, how you doing? Great. Good morning, guys. Hey, nice to have you back with us. It's great to be back. All I love right. to come back here. Welcome back to Rochester, Indiana. I love it. Good of course, you are from the big city of Indianapolis. That's correct. All yep. right. Folks who don't know anything about you, talk with us about yourself for a minute or two. Well, I, uh, I'm, I've been playing music about 25 years uh, professionally. and. Uh, I was a Purdue engineer for a long time. <laughs> decided I didn't want to do that. There are anymore. a lot of Purdue fans. There are. So that, that'll go over I can well. do that all right. Yeah, that'll with do Rochester. Well. So I, I realized, uh, you know, ten years ago that I didn't want to do that anymore. So I quit my engineering job, decided to do music full time, and uh, this kind of brought me up to Rochester and a lot of cool places all over the world. So uh, it was a pretty good decision on my part. Honestly. You speak about all over the world? Yeah, yeah. I've been uh, well. I've been basically all over uh, in the Caribbean and uh, Mexico, and uh, I'm going to work my way over to South America here probably next year, and then. Uh, just trying to see if I can spread the love as far as I can. <laughs> Anybody, any, any place in particular that uh, stands on your mind? Well, I mean, a, a lot of lot of friends. Now I go to Jamaica every year. Okay. I've been playing in Jamaica for almost 20 years. Wow. Um, I go down there and try to raise money sometimes sure. for uh, some underprivileged kids or trying to uh, pre-kindergarten kids trying to get schools built and computers and libraries and stuff like that. Excellent. So, yeah, it's been a great trip. It's it's worth it, worth the trip to go down there. So that's probably my favorite place to go. Honestly, is Jamaica. This is the day that we're doing the opening of the Lake Boat Parade. That all kicks off at one o'clock this afternoon. We're going to follow that, of course. With with a lot of festivities from the Moose Lodge, including dinner and a drawing tonight, and then at 9 o'clock, Ike's going to be there performing. Mm -hmm. What kind of music are we going to hear tonight? Uh, it's going to be a huge mixture. Most of my shows are, are built around uh, a pretty wide variety of okay. songs, ranging from the 50s to, to, to popular songs that you hear on the radio. You could do a little bit for us this morning. I can if you want to. Oh, I can oh, play a song for you. Guys. Go for it. Yeah, I thought I'd play this little Johnny sorry. Cash for you. My, it's early in the morning, and uh, <laughs> musicians don't usually have a very good voice in the morning. I'm, I'm definitely one of those people. So. Uh, <laughs> Probably play this tonight too, I imagine. Okay. Love is a burning thing, and it makes the fire rain. I'm bound by what desire. I fell into a ring of fire. I fell into a burning ring of fire. Went down, down, down the flames. It went higher. It burned, burned. Ring of fire, the ring of fire. You taste the love is sweet from hearts like ours beat. I fell for you just like a child. Oh, the fire went wild. I fell into a burning ring of fire. Down, down, down the flames they went higher, and it burned, burned, burned. Ring of fire, the ring of fire. Excellent. Well done. Well, thank you. Well done. <laughs> well done. An audience of two plus a dog. So there you go. Very well done. Thank That's you. the kind of stuff we'll hear tonight, plus we'll hear a lot of other varieties yep, of, yeah, of we'll music be, as well. Yeah, a lot of, uh, we'll be doing some old country, some new okay. country, some old rock, some new rock. Uh, I'll even do some pop music in there, and if, if they want, I might even do a couple hip-hop songs if they want. So we'll <laughs> How see. do you decide what kind of music to add to your repertoire? Uh, you know, it's funny, uh, a lot of people ask me that question. I basically just listen to what's, I don't listen to radio very much, but I kind of watch what people are playing and okay. what's popular and, and what people react to as far as uh, song-wise. and. Um, a lot of times I'll just sit at home and I hear a cool song on the radio or in my car driving sure, a lot of times. Sure. And I was like, I'm going to learn that. I'm going to learn that song. Or I'll be in a bar and I hear a song and I have to write stuff down on my phone all the time because uh, I always forget. So. You have a permanent place in Indianapolis that you perform or do you perform Yeah, there's the a city? couple of places in Indianapolis. There's a place I play called the Free Spirit Lounge. Uh, every Sunday I play there on the patio okay. uh, in Castleton. Um, I do a Tuesday show at South Chicago. It's a pizza place up in Fishers every Tuesday. I've been doing that for about two years. 
Um, and then I just kind of tour around all my, the rest of the week, pretty much all over the city and all over the state, pretty much. So okay. Keep me busy. I bet it does keep you busy. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. It's not bad. This summer's been really busy so far. So. Okay, so I know you're going to be at the Moose Lodge tonight. Yep. We've been talking about that. And, of course, the festivities, the day-long festivities mm -hmm. there. Where do you go next week? Uh, let's see. Next week, I'm actually going to be doing some private corporate events next weekend. Okay. Um, and then I do my regular gigs this, uh, next weekend, and um, I'm trying to think where my where my schedule's at. It's, all right. well, that's it's all so great. Right. I've, I've been playing uh, you know, seven, eight shows a week for about two months now, so uh, I'm kind of getting lost as to where. <laughs> I have to ask people what day it is all the time because I don't know what day it is. So, <laughs> what city am I in, and what day is it? <laughs> you have albums that are out. Uh, not yet, not okay. for sale. Uh, I've been working on an original record for a, quite some time. It's it's a, it's a labor of love. I've, and I haven't really finished it yet, so um, I do have uh, some uh, recorded live CDs I've done okay. for years. That uh, hopefully the next time I come up to Rochester, I'll have some some of those to hand out. So can we go to iTunes to get you some actually, of your stuff? Not iTunes. Actually, you can uh, go on YouTube. Uh, okay, YouTube. And actually, if you just use that the, uh, the the tag at the end of every website, it's Ike Guitar. Okay. Uh, so YouTube, Facebook, Reverb Nation is my main one of my main websites. I have some uh, songs up there on those websites as well. So okay, yeah. so that'd be a good way to get uh, get Absolutely. in touch. Absolutely. Yep. You okay. bet. Excellent. Yeah. If not coming out tonight that would be the best way to do it oh yeah if you're, if you're in rochester even yeah. if you're close to rochester you should come out to the moose tonight nine o'clock i mean it's going to be out they're going to do some, they're going to do some drawings around 6 30 i think i think so uh, giving away some uh, some money and some and some gifts and stuff like that the boat parades i think is at one o'clock so uh, i'm looking forward to spending a great day on the water i got a bunch of great friends here in rochester and it's always nice to come back and hang out with them get on the water and then uh, <laughs> they go play some music for them and and uh, have a great time this evening. It's going to be a lot of fun. So. You got to be out in Lake Manitoba today. Absolutely, I was out there yesterday. I came in town yesterday. My, actually, my gig got canceled, so I was, I'm just said, you know what? I'm just, I'm, I don't even care. I'm going to go up to Rochester. I'm going to go hang on the water, see some good friends of mine, and luckily I get to see, you know, I get to run into people like Tom and Sue Bear. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've been fans of yours for a long time. Well, we thank you. I appreciate that. It's always thank a pleasure. you very much for being here. That's my pleasure. All right, you're gonna, what are you going to play for us on the way out here? Uh, what do you want to hear? Do you guys have any requests? I mean, that's kind of how my show works. You know, I, I, I don't use a set list. I, I haven't used a set list in probably 15, 20 years because I never know uh, uh, what I'm going to play. I might just do a little. I come. Uh, I come uh, let me just ask you one more quick question. Yeah. But you, you're doing you do the one man band thing yes. basically. Uh, why, why not a big band? Why not five, well, six, seven, eight people? Uh, I've, like I've done that, and okay. it's a lot of fun. It's just uh, it's a lot more work, and it's right. also. Uh, I'm able to get into a lot more venues because I'm more affordable, honestly. Um, sure. And, and a lot of times I can I can uh, provide that full sound because of the technology that I use in my show. That technology is always changing, isn't it? It is. It, you're, you're right. And the thing is, I have a completely different set than the last time you saw me. So, right. um, but it's nice because the technology allows me to give the feeling that there's five or six guys on stage anyway. So there's only one guy. So. Um, and that kind of helped me get into a lot of venues, basically because they don't have to spend thousands of dollars to get a band in there. So computer technology is kind of what started all this. Absolutely, isn't it? you bet. Yeah, I mean that it's uh, it's come a long way because I remember that when I first started doing this, it was just me and a guitar and a microphone, and now I have all these pedals at my feet that I can I can dial in, I can add all these vocals and these extra these extra parts, and uh, it just kind of makes for me it makes a better show, and I think for the audience it makes a better show because. Now, the best thing is, is actually watching people's reaction when they try to figure out how I'm doing it. And I think that's probably the best part. I think that's what I like about it, because it, that, that, that wonderment look on their face when they like, how is, it, how is he getting four vocals? How is he getting three guitars? And it's all done basically through technology, through my feet and stuff like that. So it's really opened up a whole new door for me, really. Where do we go with technology in the next five years? Uh, I'll tell you what, man. I don't think I'm going to have to play. Honestly, uh, I, I, seriously, I think I could probably just sit up there and hit play. I, I could do that now, really, but if I wanted to. But uh, it, it's it's getting even the five next five ten years. I mean, I can just see it, uh, especially with the, with social media, with the live streaming right. options and stuff like that. I, I could definitely see it getting uh, way more advanced and a lot more people getting involved in music actually because of it. You know, it is interesting to to see the advancements. Uh, maybe a TV show or a movie, you'll see a sound studio with a soundboard those things are huge yeah. they have millions of options it seems in terms of how we're going to make that sound yeah. come out how it's going to come out and how we can fit that sound to the particular individual performers it's, and that yeah. kind of thing it's been, well now that you can run a whole stage off of an ipad yeah so it's really become with with wi-fi and bluetooth uh, capabilities it's just been uh, I've seen it. I've seen the step, the large steps in that technology. So, and yet we can't do it without the entertainer. We've no, got to have you got to have you got to have somebody yeah. at least up there exactly. making some noise, right? Exactly. That's exactly <laughs> right. You know, and, and the entertainer is kind of what takes all the basic technology stuff You're, and, yeah, yeah. and adds the 
emphasis to it, yeah, if you will. You you're know? right. You're exactly right. Yeah. That's cool. I love it. All right, it's I be great to see you this evening. Thank Thanks so you, much man. for being around. It's my pleasure. Anytime it's, you come it's back, always feel free to stop back. by the radio station. I will definitely do that. Always I love, nice I love to coming here. here. It's uh, I got some of my best friends in the world are up here in the city. So excellent. Uh, I wish it were a little closer to Indianapolis because I'd, I'd probably just move up here. <laughs> but it's better now. You bet. You bet. The drive is better you now. You bet. Yes, it is. It's a <laughs> lot better. Thank you. <laughs> because to, of a Kokomo and that's B, right. the Westfield that's Carmel way project easier. that continues on. It's making it a lot easier to get up here. So yes, it does. I like it. All right, good. Yeah, yeah. All right, what are we what are we leaving with? Uh, I'm gonna just do a quick. Uh, it's an old Ryan Adams song that uh, that Zach Brown covers. Sure. So I went down to Houston and I stopped in San Antonio. I passed up the station for the bus to try to find me something, but I wasn't sure just what. Ended up with pockets full of dust As I went on to Cleveland To where I went insane Bought a borrowed suit and learned how to dance Was trying to find me something But I wasn't sure just what And it ended up with pockets full of cane my sweet Carolina What compels me to go Oh my sweet disposition May you one day carry me home Oh my sweet Carolina what compels me to go? Oh, my sweet disposition, may you one day carry me home. May you one day carry me home. Stay right back here to Rochester. Yeah, great. Kelly okay, Eisenhower, right from Indy. Thank you very much. Tom, thank you very much. It's a pleasure. Good to have great you. Great to town. be back. You bet. All right.